Hello everyone, welcome to ET Studios, and today we are having a look at Star Citizen. It has been quite a while, but I have a little experiment to run today, because I have quite a cool opportunity to try things out. So, I have in my disposal a SATA SSD, SATA hard drive, and an NVMe M.2 SSD. So, what we're going to be doing today is comparing load times and game smoothness once uh, in the game and after you've just loaded. So the first test is the time taken between launching the game and us arriving at the main menu. The second test is launching from there and getting into the game. That will vary slightly depending on location, but I'll have exactly the same location for each three of my tests, so at least there'll be a scale there. And then I'm also going to see at from an observation standpoint, how much of a difference there is in terms of how stuttery it is once I first load into the game. So, it's been quite a while since I've played Star Citizen, but we are going to give this a go, and let's try. So I'm going to time these all of these tests. Each one will be recorded, so there'll be the same settings across the board. Uh, I do have some stuff open in the background, but they're all on different drives from where the game is installed on. So here we have all the games, uh, well, all the launches I did on one screen. We've got the hard drive, the SATA SSD, and the NVMe. And launching to the menu didn't take an overly long time. These are all synced up to the moment they started loading. So it's all, well, the moment I clicked acknowledge on the um, little terms and conditions thing. Anyway, we are, we launch. And every single one of these took almost identical amounts of time, pretty much within margin of error, as you'll see momentarily. It actually ends up being hard drive first, SATA SSD, and then NVMe. Now, before the comments go absolutely crazy, um, I'm going to list all the specs for all the SSDs and the hard drives and everything in a minute. So here is us loading into the PU. Again, all synced up to the moment it started loading, and I'm actually going to speed this up uh, in a minute. But while we've got some time staring at three loading screens, what's worse than staring at one is staring at three that are going at slightly different speeds. So, SSD, uh, I have a SanDisk Plus 500 gigabyte SATA SSD, which has about 39,000 IOPS and 550 megabyte per second. Um, that's the standard SATA SSD kind of speeds. It's a pretty decent one. It's not, there are really low end SATA SSDs, which will have problems because they don't have DRAM cache and things like that. But it's a pretty decent one. If you are going to buy an SSD specifically for Star Citizen, or pretty much for anything for that matter, it's worth spending that extra. However much it is, it's not going to be much. Maybe in some cases as little as $5 difference between the cheapest and the the one that's actually going to be good. Just have a look at some reviews. Have a look at um, some some proper guides on the internet as to what's really good from an SSD. The NVMe, that means a lot of things nowadays. Uh, it's a Gen 3 WD Blue one terabyte uh, NVMe, which... Uh, is on M.2 and it's about 400,000 IOPS and I believe it's about 2,000 megabytes per second. So not the fastest SSD in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but one that's affordable and uh, that I think lots of people would uh, actually go for. It's not going to cost um, too much. So. We're going to see pretty shortly the time it took to load into all of these. Um, we're about two minutes in, and the NVMe, weirdly enough, does win. Spoiler alert. Um, but one thing that I do want to test here is the perceived smoothness of the game once I've loaded it. So the hard drives are notorious, especially in Star Citizen, for being very stuttery as soon as you load it in, because it hasn't actually managed to get all the assets in, it's still loading things in the background, and it's really struggling. So your FPS takes a hit, and it just it'll freeze up 
it'll lock up, that kind of thing. It's not fun. So the big question here is, can you save a bit of money, go with a SATA SSD, a decent one, and still have a decent performance, or do you need the NVMe to be um, very happy? And one thing I can say here is that the NVMe loads significantly faster, about 30 seconds uh, ahead of the SATA and uh, the SATA SSD and the hard drive. Weirdly enough, the loading times between the SATA SSD and the hard drive were relatively similar, and this isn't a bad thing if the smoothness from the SATA SSD is much higher. Now, smoothness is obviously up to personal opinion. Uh, I like I can just give you an observation of what I thought the smoothness was like, um, and I will now show you. A comparison between hard drive, SATA SSD, and NVMe from my and thoughts at the time of recording. So I'm going to go back, and you'll hear my thoughts from each one individually, and then I'll go to a c conclusion. Uh, see you in a minute. Uh, I'm sorry you can't hear any in-game audio, um, but now we're going to see what the uh, experience is like just after load, which is usually where it stutters the most. It'll get better and better as you go. But it's, yeah, you can see it stuttering a bit. It's really kind of struggling. Uh, I'm at 1440p, worth noting, and we're at maxed out settings pretty much. So it is a little bit unfair to my poor 1080i at this point, but um, it's okay. So it, it, it can be smooth, followed by just random stuttering, like you can see here. That was, that's quite bad. Um, opening the door, that's a bit of lag response between when I pressed F and could actually see things happening. There you go. So it's... Oh. Alright. And yeah, some general stu stutter, but not insane. Not as bad as it was the first time I loaded in, which makes sense. It's cached the terrain, that kind of thing. Um, we're also not in the most demanding area of the entire game, I don't think. So it could be worse. How smooth... Okay. 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 There's no major stutters. The FPS isn't high, but that's normal. Okay, there was no lag when holding F and looking around. That's... this is significantly improved. Okay. So... <laughs> Technically under, under 3 minutes, 2 minutes and 55 seconds. Not not amazing, but a, an improvement of over 30 seconds from the hard drive, I believe. And smoothness in here is so far looking about the same as the SATA SSD. So, I think I know what my conclusion is going to be, but let's just walk around here. Okay, a little stutter, but it's fine. Not much. Pretty good overall. So, you saw a little clip there from each drive, and overall, there are a couple more things to note. Some people will have significantly better loading times than I do here, and that'll entirely be up to their specific drive, maybe their CPU, the amount of RAM you have. There's a lot of factors that can go into this, so this isn't the be-all and end-all of... Uh, comparison. That is something I really want to note here, is that everyone might have a different experience. There are bad NVMe SSDs, there are bad SATA SSDs, there are very bad SATA SSDs, there are very slow hard drives, and there are fast hard drives. Not that you're ever going to have a hard drive that outperforms an SSD, unless you have a really bad SSD. So, really my conclusion here is that if you don't have Star Citizen on an SSD at all, a SATA SSD is just fine, as long as you get one that is half decent. And honestly, I'd recommend if you know other people who have Star Citizen, or just ask on a forum and ask if people have it on an SSD. If so, what are their loading times like? And what SSD is it? Because don't just go and buy the first SSD you find um, and expect it to be fantastic. They are not all the same. So if you're, if, you, if you're on the forums, if you're on a Discord server with some people, whatever it is, just ask around and see what drive other people are using, because that's probably the safest bet you can really go with. The point of this video was mainly, do you need one? 
And also, is it worth going straight to NVMe, or is SATA just fine? In this particular case, the loading time difference between the NVMe and the SATA were about 30 seconds, but overall it was 3 minutes, or 3 minutes and 25 seconds. So it's not a massive difference, and in a lot of cases I think you'll find that until you get to the really, really good NVMe's, at which point you're spending a lot of extra money. Don't buy, in my opinion, I wouldn't recommend buying an NVMe SSD just for Star Citizen. Other things can take advantage of it though. You can install your OS on it, nice quick loading times for other games as well. So they're definitely very cool, but a SATA SSD, in terms of smoothness after load, not too bad, and the difference between loading wasn't crazy. Again, there are lots of other factors that can go into this. The server might be completely full, it'll take much longer to load. If it's super empty, it's just been started up, whatever, it will probably be significantly better. So there are lots of things that go into this. Don't take my word for it that these are the exact loading times for these exact things. It's not always going to be the same. But I hope this was helpful to some people and I really hope that if you have it on a hard drive and you also have an SSD on your system that you'll consider making that free space. It's a lot, it's 60 gigabytes, but if you do already have an SSD and the game's not on there, really, it really is worth it. So that's my conclusion overall, is put it on an SSD as long as it's a half decent one. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Not necessarily like this one, but I'll try and do some more Star Citizen content in the future. And other than that, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.